In this video, we are going to use the law of cosines to find the angle between two vectors. So, I think I would rather deal with the vectors in component form. So, vector v is uh, going to be 1 comma 2 in component form. Vector w is going to be 2 comma negative 1. And ultimately I will need the vector v plus w which I found by just adding the corresponding components. 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus negative 1 is 1. Now if I find the magnitude of each of these that will give me the lengths of three sides of a triangle. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's find the magnitude here would be uh, the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared. Uh, that's the square root of 1 plus 4. So square root of 5. Similarly, the magnitude of w, square root of 2 squared plus negative 1 squared. Square root of 4 plus 1 again with the square root of 5. And finally, v plus w the magnitude is going to be three square square root of three squared plus one squared the square root of nine plus one square root of ten now let's do a little diagram of each of these set up in the form of a sum so let's start with uh, vector v okay I'll just start here Vector v goes right 1 and up 2. So if I went right 1 and up 2, um, that might be about here. Okay, so this is vector v. And uh, I'll just go ahead and put the square root of 5 on that guy. Uh, now, when you're adding, you put vectors end to end. So I'm just going to... Uh, begin the next vector at the end of the first vector. Vector w goes right 2 and down 1. So if I go right 2 and down 1, that might be about here. So here's my vector w. And the length of this vector, again, was the square root of 5. Um, now, the vector v plus w um, is the resultant vector, so it should go from the initial point to the terminal point um, like this. Okay, so this is the vector v plus w, and we know the length of that is radical 10. Okay, now let's switch over to the law of cosines let's label some things. Um, if this is vector A and this is vector, uh, not vector, if this is angle A uh, of this triangle and this is angle B and this is angle C. Okay? Um, angle C is the angle that we're looking for. Angle C will be the angle between vector V and vector W, which are, um, this was vector v and this was vector w. So we're looking for for c. Now the way the law of cosines went and you know I think I better zoom in. It starts with the sides and um, just because we're about to do the law of cosines I'm gonna label each of these as well. So the side across from angle c was called side c. Across from angle b was called side b and across from angle A was called side A. Okay, so this is A, this is B, and this is C. So the uh, law of cosines went like this. It started off looking like the Pythagorean theorem. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. We're talking about the lengths of the sides. Um, but the Pythagorean theorem only works for right triangles. Uh, this is not a right triangle. So, um, 
here comes the modification. Minus 2AB cosine C. Now this C is the angle C that we're looking for. Now I think you'll see that we have all of this information except for angle C. So let's start substituting things in. So um, C squared um, is radical 10 squared. So I have radical 10 squared, that's my C squared, is equal to A squared. All right, A is right here, so that's radical 5 squared plus B squared, another radical 5 squared minus 2AB. So minus 2 radical 5 times radical 5 and then cosine of angle C. All right, so angle C is the only variable. Now when you square a radical, the radical goes away. So this is going to become 10 is equal to 5 plus 5 minus 2 times 5. Um, radical 5 times radical 5 is just 5. And then cosine C. Interesting. So this is going to give me 10 is equal to, uh, just combining like terms here, 10 minus, and 2 times 5 is 10, cosine C. Okay, any more space down here I can squeeze in? Okay, um, next I would subtract 10 from both sides like this, minus 10, minus 10. I'm going to subtract that from both sides. Okay, so that is going to give me 0 is equal to negative 10 cosine C. Um, huh, I think I spoke too soon when I said this was not a right triangle. Um, now I would divide both sides by negative 10. Okay, so if I come through here and I divide by negative 10 on both sides. Okay, 0 divided by negative 10 is still 0. The negative 10s cancel out, so 0 is equal to cosine of C. So I don't need a calculator for this. Uh, what angle has a cosine of zero? All right, think about your unit circle for a minute. Uh, the cosine is the x value. So um, consider the point right here. This is the point 0, 1 on the unit circle. Uh, so the cosine would be right here. So the angle that has a cosine of 0 uh, is 90. Okay, um, so that's it. Now, I mean, technically, uh, cosine is also 0 down here, 180. But we're talking about an angle in a triangle. So um, it can't be 180 degrees, so it has to be 90. All right, and so that's it. Um, cosine, uh, so angle C must equal 90 degrees. Hey guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click over here to watch the next video, and click over here to subscribe. That way you'll get every new video delivered right to your home screen.